Grasso has some really great ways for us to control what we can and can't see in the Rhino preview. You probably already noticed, but when I click on a Grasshopper component, it turns green and the corresponding geometry turns green in Rhino. So if I click on my point, that also turns green. But we can actually um, manage this a little bit when we have much more geometry coming onto our canvas. For example, if I created a scale component and we scaled from the center point of um, this point here, we're going to scale this sphere and maybe we scale it by a factor of two. You'll see I have a new sphere that's created as an output geometry from the scale component. And what we're starting to get is a little bit of an overlap with our geometry of our point, our initial sphere, and then our scaled sphere. What if I just want to preview this um, last sphere only? There's a couple of ways that we can go um, about doing this. Um, the easiest way is to just select all of the components that sit behind this um, scale and right click on the canvas and select the preview off um, option. They'll turn a darker shade of grey, you'll notice the difference in shades here, and that means that they're off inside the grasshopper window. So that means that we just see this scale option here. Another way to preview components um, selectively is to come up here and do the um, draw preview geometry for selected objects only. So if I click on that, everything's going to disappear unless I click on one of these components. So regardless of whether or not your component is previewed on or off, you'll be able to see what it looks like with this um, option selected here. So I can then click on these objects and clearly see which one um, or which geometry I've selected. And that's really helpful if you're trawling through a definition trying to kind of understand what's going on or what something's ha what a certain component is doing. I'm going to click that back off to go back to our um, normal mode. We could also turn this one on, which is just a wireframe preview. See the wireframe of our sphere. And then if we click on this one, it's all turn the preview off altogether. I'm going to go back to just our standard, which is the draw shaded preview geometry and nothing else. Another helpful performance tip that's worth noting is that we can disable um, components inside of a grasshopper. So if I want to make this sphere not actually compute at all, I could click on it and right click and click on enabled and that'll disable this component entirely. It'll turn a dark shade of grey and nothing's basically happening now. I could right click and re-enable it to get it back. If I disable this middle sphere, it means that the geometry coming into the scale component no longer exists, so I no longer have an input for that scale component. So just be aware that when you're disabling and enabling um, geometries or components in Grasshopper, if you have parametric relationships built up, those relationships will be affected by the disabling and enabling in your definition. One last little tip that I have around Grasshopper performance is the Grasshopper Profiler. Now this is a really fantastic tool that shows you uh, the speed of the components and how they're computing. If you've got a really slow um, computing um, definition and you want to figure out what's causing the slowness, this is a really cool tool to have. To turn it on, go to Display and under Canvas Widgets there's a little option called Profiler. I'm just going to click that on. I'm going to create what's called a Populate 2D component, and that creates a random population of 2D points, basically. Um, and then I'm going to plug that into a mesh sphere component. So mesh sphere is a little bit different to a sphere, it creates a base type or data type of a mesh, and I'm going to plug that into the base, and we're going to create a whole range of mesh spheres. We're not super interested in that right now. What we are interested in this is this um, little kind of uh, 7ms icon that's appeared below the grasshopper component. This is telling us the speed that this component is computing at. So when we kind of compute uh, these 100 mesh spheres at each of these points, it computes at you know this speed. So if you have something that's computing really, really slowly in Grasshopper, it'll actually turn red and you better isolate which component is causing you a bit of grief.